So it all started when at work I was uh, noticing I was having light pressure down low. Didn't think that it was really anything uh, to be concerned about though. And I had two client meetings in the afternoon in the Abbotsford office. And uh, between meetings, I messaged one of my friends who had just had her third baby and asked her, is this normal? Is this part of uh, pregnancy? I don't remember this with Lucas, but it also didn't feel like the contractions that I had with him. And she assured me it was totally normal not to worry about it. So I went on with my second client meeting and left the office at 5.05, came home and Colin was having dinner with Lucas. Um, I didn't touch my dinner. Instead, I decided to finish packing my hospital bag and go to the hospital to get checked out. By the time that we got to the hospital, I was having a few more stronger um, pressures. Again, not really contractions, but just pain, I guess. And uh, by the time that we got to triage and they got me onto the bed and strapped me in with the um, baby heart rate monitor, I started having contractions and they uh, were about two minutes apart and really, really intense. They um, called the doctor and he of course took what seemed like forever to get into the room. And when he got there, uh, her heart rate was uh, destabilizing, it was dipping. And so the doctor said, we have to have a C-section. And uh, just like with Lucas, the whole time I was begging for pain meds, me, give me, all you got. Yeah. But, Never say uh, no. <laughs> this whole time Colin and Lucas, because Lucas came with us to the hospital, they were um, off in the little room reading books, so he had no idea what was going on. Um, so the doctor said C-section, and there was no available OR, and there was no anesthesiologist. So the doctor checked me, and I was already fully dilated, and um, he said, yes, baby's coming out that way. So they wheeled me into a room. The uh, nurse grabbed Colin and said, you should be here for this. So Colin and Lucas were both in the room at the beginning. Yeah, Lucas was confused and quiet, nice and quiet. And uh, they coaxed him out of the room with a lollipop, I think it was. Popsicle. A popsicle, yeah. yeah. So he was out in the hallway and uh, the doctor, uh, they took away my, um, what's it called, the laughing gas, because that's all I had at that point. They took it away and said, you have to push, and I said, uh, I need drugs now. <laughs> they, The doctor basically got in my face and yelled, you have to push right now, baby's in distress, you need to get her out now. And she was out in about probably less than five minutes. Um, it was probably about three or four rounds of contractions and she slipped right out and she was completely limp and blue. Colin almost passed out. Yeah. And then they took her off to the side and just did, her. did their thing. Wrapped her up and got her going. So we had gotten to the hospital at 6.30 and she was born at 7.15. The anesthesiologist got there about five minutes after she did, and they uh, transferred her over to the NICU. Uh, we got a chance to visit her for a few minutes in the NICU while they uh, got her ready to transport her to Surrey Memorial Hospital. And she was taken over here at uh, around 11 p.m. that night. She weighed in at two pounds and uh, 12 ounces. that she's doing really well so far and yeah. look forward to seeing what comes tomorrow <laughs>